देर वॉज दो फैसिलिटी फॉर ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर ड्यू टू द वॉटर हियर वॉज सैलिन फार्मिंग वॉज नॉट प्रॉपर वी वेल इन डेप्ट सो मी एंड माय फादर वेंट टू कांडला इन गुजरात This is the story of few villages in Sachor Tehsil of Rajasthan state located on the Gujarat border where the land is naturally sandy There is to be no proper rain so it was very difficult to run the house so to run the house we had to go to Gujarat even I went to Gujarat when I was 12 even after migration what used to happen was the small kids also used to go with them and there were no proper education facilities people here did not have any means of irrigation when luni river used to get flooded water used to get uh, sweeter from salin and improve the quality of water that's when they could do the farming In order to make this area free from water shortage the central government decided to provide water to the state of Rajasthan through the Sardar Sarovar project The areas benefited by this project were divided into two flow area and lift area Due to the higher elevation of the lift area pumping system was arranged to lift water to this area Flow area is divided into normal and ned area Ned area was that part of Rajasthan which was saline and had excessive water problems. After assessing the project, the work started. Will this dream turn into reality? This question kept wandering in the minds of the village residents. Canal work seemed like a wonder to them. Due to lack of river, many such projects were stalled across India. and 99 projects were given priority and put on mission mode under PMKSY in 2016-2017 one of the project amongst them was the Narmada canal project is yojana mein in this scheme emphasis has been laid on conservation and enhanced distribution of water per drop more crop is not just a mission but it should also provide complete benefit to the farmer To accomplish such happy moments a canal system was developed 
the water from the main canal gets distributed through the various distributaries which later flow into miners. From miners, suitable water for irrigation flows into sub-miners. Water is supplied to various tanks from these miners. From the tank, water flows into the outlet built between 8 to 10 hectares of land by underground pipeline. From here, it reaches the fields by the sprinkler pipeline laid by the farmer themselves. In this way, the project's canal system is 1,793 kilometers long in which the length of the main canal is about 74 kilometers. Due to the sprinklers, we could cover larger area. This was very important. And if you see the land and if you see the land level, if you go to see it was less than sprinklers level, then you get good crop. By making it mandatory to convert the project to use sprinkler system, the entire irrigation area increased from 1,45,000 hectare to 2,46,000 hectares, which was an increase of 82%. Number of villages benefited from irrigation increased from 89 to 233, which was an increase of 162%. In spite of all this, from the surplus water, 1,541 villages which are located in the desert area were supplied with drinking water, which earlier was not part of the project. To make the implementation of sprinkler system mandatory, the entire command area was divided into 2,232 WUA, which stands for Water Users Association. Under each Water Users Association, nearly 100 hectares of irrigation land has been allocated. For 8 to 10 hectares of irrigation area, an outlet was made by underground pipeline. Organizing water from the outlet to the fields was sole responsibility of the farmers themselves. At that time, the officer of Narmada came and told us that we have made this box for you. This is the command area on which we are making a committee. They made a committee of five people. It was told to the farmers you should make one for ordinary people as members. You will be handling this box 
and it will be given to you and you will have to handle this. Slowly, slowly we have understood the benefit of association. If the association was not formed, then the officials of the government uh, would have to do this work. And by going to every box, they would not be able to handle each and every farmer. That's why we have to take more interest in association and uh, government also wanted to make this. Since the canal is built, uh, water is coming in the pond and it is uh, good for our cattle. As soon as I completed my 12, the canal was built, after which we started studying and at the same time we started doing the farming also. I have planted this promogenate in 2010. In this, we did not get the yield for two and a half years. Harvesting started after two and a half years. In the first year, 1.5 lakh was produced. In the second year, it was 2.5 lakhs. In the third year, it was 3.5 lakh. Later, 5.5 lakhs. Similarly, 6 lakhs are produced every year. Good yields have made a lot of progress. Good houses have also been built in farm. Now everyone lives in the farm. Not only with me, now the whole village has got lot of money and resources with them. Everyone has tractors and other farming tools also. Everyone has collected all the tools slowly, slowly. Now, after the arrival of water, tractor have become house to house. Vehicles have arrived in the village. Our girls have also learned to drive tractors and uh, all the small scale work in the house, they are helping us with everything. Our income has increased due to arrival of canal water. We could appoint labor and get our work done, but we educate our daughters. Our sister also did not study first standard. Now our daughter studying in 12th standard. With the construction of the canal, it is as if the fate of the people here has changed. Some farmers have also set up greenhouses. For the last one year, cucumber, tomato, capsicum have been grown in these greenhouses. With the advancement of technology, electricity is generated aided by solar energy. This is only possible due to the fresh water of the canal. There is a lot of enthusiasm in this village. The villagers now have their own private vehicle and own their houses. Narmada Canal epitomizes progress, transformation and confidence of new India. PMKSY has shown the ideology of the government of India to come true. 
not only has it transformed Badmer and Jalor, but brought lots of joy to the people of this region.